Hey there this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. After a long break I am ready for new Blender tutorials. So without further ado let's get started. To create this design you need to add the simple cube and then you need to scale it along the x axis and z axis. And then move this cube along the z axis and take it on the floor. You need to apply the scale on it and then go to the edit mode select this corner edges and then control B add a bevel on them. Add a 4 segment bevel, give the right bevel width and create a fillet form. Then turn on your extra mode, select the top and bottom faces and then use the insert operation at there. We will try to create the design without using the booleans. So that's why you need to use the insert operation like this. Then you can add the center loop cut like this and then control B add a bevel on them. We need to give the right position to this edge loop to create that design. So that's why we need to give the right measurement and that's why we can use this back grid. With the help of that grid you can give the right position to your edges and you can take the right measurement at there. After that to create that design just need to delete these faces. Then select this edge and then press F to fill the gap. Same thing to this side also. and then just you need to take this symmetry so you can create that design here you can use the mirror modifier also but i like to go with a the symmetry then turn on your extra mode and select the top and bottom faces and then use the insert operation one more time then you need to select this corner edges and then control b add a bevel on them you need to add the two segment bevel at there and give the right bevel width After that just take the symmetry to get that design to all side. Then just select the top and bottom faces and then press P for the selection to make a different object. You will get two different objects. You just take that outer object and select its top and bottom each and then right click bridge edge loop and you can fill the gap. And then take the inner object and same thing select this top and bottom edges and then right click bridge edge loop to fill the gap. you can easily create the right topology for it now create the right topology for the outer object you need to select the top and bottom faces and use the insert operation to maintain the form to maintain the good form we need to add supporting edge loops so you can add the loop cuts like this with the help of insert operation or with the control r insert edge loop then here you can see few n-gons and we need to create the right topology so just select these faces use the insert operation to create that loop structure Add the center loop cuts like this. Select the words right click connect vertex path and try to create that curve based topology. Add one loop cut like this and then connect the words. And same things you need to repeat to this side. And now that's look good. Now we need to add more support to loop cuts to maintain the form. You can turn off that auto smooth and then start to add more support to loop cuts to maintain the good form. and now you can see that's look good here just we need to use the edge slide select this words and then use the edge slide to give the right position to this words and now that's look good now just select everything mesh and then symmetry take the symmetry along the x y and then z axis now just i have created the right topology for the inner part easily you can do that and now just we need to create the little bit of design on it so you can turn on your extra mode and you can select these faces and then press i for the insert operation and just adjust the scale a little bit here just we need to give the right position to the words and edges to get the proper shape so we can create the right design then select these faces and then delete these faces and then select everything mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry and then take the symmetry along the x y and then z axis then you can select these edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop add more support to loop cuts to maintain the good form this looks really well but we can add few more changes in it to make it good you can select this face loop increase that selection and then scale them along the z axis and then scale them along the x and y axis And now just you need to add supporting loop cuts to maintain the form. That's very simple. And now you can see this looks way better than the before. So just we need to take the symmetry 
and you can see the design looks really well. We can add few more details in it. Now just give the right position to the words at here and then select these faces, use the insert operation and then E to extrude it and extrude inside. Just create a little bit of depth at there and then press I for the insert operation one more time. Just add supportive loop cuts to maintain that form. Now just select these edges and then double tap G for the A slide, just give the right position to them. Then just take the symmetry along the X, Y and then Z axis. And now that's look good. Now let's create a little bit of design from the outer side. I want to create a little bit of boolean add there. So I can add few loop cuts like this. And it's very simple to create the boolean. You can see these edges are a little bit mismatched. So that's why I just select these edges and then scale them along the Z axis. Give the value 0 to make them flat. Just we need to select these faces. Use the insert operation. Then use the loop tool circle option. And then scale them. Make sure your individual origin should be on. So you can scale these faces. And use the insert operation one more time. And easily you can create that boolean. Now just select these faces, make sure you transform pivot point to the bounding box and then scale them along the X axis to create the tapper form. Then dissolve the edges, adjust the scale little bit and then use the right click bridge faces. Then use few insert operations to add more supportive loop cuts. And now you can see that's look good. Now the design looks really well, just take the symmetry along the X axis. And now we need to check the matte cap view. You can see we are facing the little bit of weird shading because of the wrong face orientation. And then you can see here face orientation is it is wrong. So that's why select everything and then press alt n and recalculate the normal. And now the face orientation is right and we are getting this decent looking shading also. So in this way you can create this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video take care.